What is behind the recent price action for Bitcoin? There are multiple factors behind the recent positive momentum in Bitcoin's price. First, uh, we have seen liquidity rise in the US since November of last year. And second, the Fed, uh, US Fed has remained on pause and is expected to cut interest rates uh, later this year. This has led to a demand for risk assets. And when the spot Bitcoin ETS were launched uh, earlier this year, uh, it uh, sort of found a destination for that demand. Uh, we have seen inflows of around 10 billion on a net basis uh, into these ETFs since the launch in uh, Jan this year. Uh, that uh, amount of flows has led to a rise in demand for Bitcoins from these ETFs. And at the same time, the supply of Bitcoin remains fixed and is unable to catch up to the demand, leading to a rapid rise in the price of Bitcoin. What is the difference between blockchain and Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency, whereas blockchain is an infrastructure on which Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies have been built and work. We can think of blockchain as a ledger or an accounting book where all the transactions that happen on the network are recorded. These transactions are recorded across multiple locations as well as participants so that once it's recorded, it is almost impossible with, to tamper the transaction. Blockchain technology is being used across a wide array of applications uh, across different industries, apart from cryptocurrencies. Record keeping, uh, information relay and real-time settlements are uh, one of the few use cases of blockchain across logistics, supply chain and the financial industry. What are some of the areas and investment avenues you target when investing in blockchain? See, there are several different areas that we look at when investing in blockchain. Uh, we have the IT consulting companies which include large established players like IBM, Microsoft, Accenture uh, that help implement the blockchain technology for their clients within the business processes. Some of the use cases are uh, like IBM has helped Walmart and Maersk implement blockchain within their logistics and supply chain. We have another holding in our uh, ETF called EPAM, which has helped a group of uh, wholesale banks uh, uh, use blockchain for real-time uh, FX transactions. The second, there are some companies that use uh, the blockchain tech within their business processes extensively. For example, Visa and MasterCard for their uh, transactions uh, for within institutions. Then there are uh, crypto miners that uh, basically use vast uh, computing processing power uh, to validate transactions within the blockchain network. Uh, for example, Bitcoin. So they validate the transactions within the Bitcoin network and then they are rewarded Bitcoin uh, for, for their work. And uh, there are also trading uh, and wallet companies uh, such as Coinbase and Block that serve both retail and institution clients for their digital asset trading and custody services. Uh, apart from that, we have payment processors uh, that help uh, e-commerce merchants and cryptocurrency exchanges process uh, cryptocurrency transactions, as well as uh, a few digital asset companies uh, that manage digital assets as well as uh, provide forensic services for transactions within the blockchain networks. How are these blockchain investment avenues impacted by Bitcoin's price action? Every area is impacted by uh, Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies price movement differently. Uh, on one spectrum are IT consulting companies which virtually have no impact on their top or bottom line from any movement in Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies price. On the other spectrum, we have crypto mining companies uh, where uh, their price is hugely impacted by uh, the price movement of Bitcoin and other underlying cryptocurrencies. Uh, because uh, the, their revenue is directly proportional to the price of cryptocurrencies as well as as their cost is almost fixed, 
uh, their profit margin as well increases or decreases based on how cryptocurrency prices move and then between in between are all the other companies that provide services related to cryptocurrencies or digital assets and we can think of uh, them as uh, their price moderately is affected by uh, the cryptocurrency's price since interest in their services increase as uh, bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies price increases for example we'll see coinbase process more trades and transactions as people are attracted to trade bitcoin when prices are going up what makes the blockchain technologies etf a desirable way to gain exposure to this new technology we have designed the blockchain technologies etf to provide exposure to both established large cap companies that use or implement blockchain as well as to the emerging companies in the blockchain space and we have structured the etf in such a way that as more emerging companies come to the fore we uh, start investing more towards those emerging companies away from the large cap companies this structure helps investors get access uh, to the blockchain space and diversify their risk away from cryptocurrencies what are the risks around bitcoin and blockchain i want to highlight for our viewers that the space carries above average risk bitcoin other cryptocurrencies and blockchain companies that are affected by the price of these underlying currencies are highly volatile one should think of investing in this space with a long runway and allocate their capital prudently